let's move on to make our elephant next. For that, we'll need another paper roll and some light gray construction paper. Let's cover our paper roll the same way we did for the lion. Line up a ruler, line up your paper roll with the edge of the paper, draw a line, and cut along the line. Now let's roll the paper up around my roll. Tape it down on one end, roll, and tape again. Excellent, so let's make the face next. Using the end of the paper roll as a stencil for the face. Trace a circle around the paper roll, and then cut it out. Now cut out a little trunk for your elephant. I'm gonna make just a little wavy trunk here. I'm just gonna trim my trunk down at the bottom a little bit so it's more tapered, like a real elephant's trunk would be. There, that looks terrific! Now, using a black marker, let's draw some little lines at the bottom of our trunk. Taking another piece of gray construction paper, fold it in half so that you can cut out two identical ears at the same time. Now cut out two half circle shapes. Very cute! Now let's make the tusks. Using some white paper that you folded in half, let's cut out two slightly curved lines to be the tusks for the elephant. They should be about as long as the trunk or maybe a little bit less. My tusks will taper to a point at the end because they're a little bit sharp. And now it's time to assemble the face. Let's begin by gluing the trunk onto the face. I'll put a little blob of glue at the top of the trunk. And now I'll press it onto the face, sort of in the middle and coming out at a little bit of an angle, like that. And now to affix the tusks. Let's do the same thing. A little blob of glue at the top of each tusk. Now tuck the tusk a little bit underneath the trunk so it sticks out to the side. And do the same thing on the other tusk. Very good. Now our elephant needs some eyeballs, so let's take two more googly eyes for that. Time to attach it onto our paper roll. Let's put a little blob of glue on the back of the face. And now press your face on at the top of the roll where you want it to go. Looks great. The final step is to attach the ears. Take one ear and fold it along the straight edge towards you. This line will help the ear stick out from the body. Do the same thing on the opposite side. Let's glue them onto the elephant. Let's put a thin line of glue along each ear. And press it down on the body. One ear on each side. Would you look at that? Our elephant is done! What a cute little elephant!